So the self-defense is grab the hair from the front and we'll also do grab the hair from the rear. This is always a really tricky one to me. And uh, this is one I, I worry about getting it right a lot. And again is uh, the immaculate Jacob helping us today. So grab the hair from the front and we'll do some variations on this also. So he's gonna grab his right hand, uh, mostly for two reasons. One, most people are right handed. But I encourage you to train both ways just in case, right? Um, also, with the right hand, you can see him on the camera a little bit better. So first thing you want to do is protect your hair. If I stand here like this and he pulls, there's a good chance he could pull me forward, but also he could just pull out a handful of hair and in real life, it's not just hair. Their you know, skin gets attached to that a lot of times. So hand goes over here and here, and I'm going to clamp down. Now, this will give you a little bit of protection if he starts to punch that arm because really nobody's just going to grab and just stand there and look at you, right? They're going to start hitting with that arm. So that protection helps a little, but it's not going to help a lot. So you're going to try to move as quick as you can, right? So here, here. Now, from this, I'm going to step back with my right leg. It could be left, but for this, I'm going to do right leg. And I keep this gripping real tight on his wrist. And I'm going to push forward with my head. So if he lets go for a second, you'll see basically what's happening is my head is pushing here on the top of his, his knuckles or his fingers while my hands are pulling this way. So it's basically making his hand do this, right? So I'm here and I push down and I can even push forward towards him. And I've got, and I keep my, my fingers there. I push my thumbs up against his knuckles as I make that transition, right? So it's here, it's here, protect my head, go down, push, as he pulls off, I push my finger, or my thumbs against his fingers. Now, could he still hit with other arm? Yes, he could. You gotta be careful for that, and really watch. And when you see that start to go, crank the arm down. At least get him at a bad angle where he can't hit as well. Now, from there, you can do lots of things. You can turn and run, if you wanna be really mean. Slam into him, then run. You can kick, lots of things, okay? So again, he grabs, grab, grab, the ridge, that edge of your hand goes in on the bend of his wrist, thumbs go here, push, pull down, kick, turn, run away. Anything that you want to have That's it. That's pretty simple. Um, let's grab the hair from the front. Now this one, grab the hair from behind. This one's a very tricky one to me, I feel like, um, because there's so many unknowns, so many variables, and I hate being attacked from behind because you don't know what they're going to do. But let's say I'm standing here, he comes over, grabs my hair from behind. We follow the same rules as the front gray hair, gray hair, or have gray, hair gray. So I take my hands, put them here. Now again, I want to protect my head because he's probably going to start hitting me with that arm. There's no reason for him not to do that. So I shield this over like a shield block or a shield stance. Now from there, I'm going to take one little step forward. I'm going to bend over and turn in the direction of his thumb. So if you see, he's got his thumb here, right? I know he's got his right hand grabbing me, so I know his thumb's pointing this way. So that's the direction I'm going to turn. If he grabbed me with the other arm, other hand, I'd turn the other way. So here, I go down, turn, and come up, okay? Kick, roll it over, get out of there. There are a few different ones I've seen like that, but let's work on this one today. We'll talk about some of the variations at the end. So he's got me grabbed, and unfortunately, what's probably gonna happen if he grabs me, he's probably gonna pull back. So really, before I can do anything, that pull's probably gonna happen, so I have to get used to the idea of blocking that pressure, that pull, at the same time as stepping back. Right? Then turn and around. Pull it over. Okay? You're still going to have to watch out for that arm. As you're coming around, that's the perfect shot for him to hit. So you're still going to really want to try to protect that head. So again, he grabs. Grab, grab. If he pulls you back, you step with it. 
If not, try to step forward. Most likely you're going to have to step back, come around, guard the head, up, grab it over, and there. And that is grab the hair from behind. basic stance is the tower stance. We also call it the self-defense stance and that should kind of tell you a little bit about it. It's so basic that you can use it in basic beginner martial arts classes, self-defense classes, things like that. So it's sort of like a dragon stance. So if I'm starting from this angle, my imaginary opponent's in front of me, I'm just standing here normal. Whichever my dominant side is, I'm right-handed, so right side forward. Both of my arms are going to go up. If you think of this from a self-defense standpoint, it should be a fairly non-threatening thing. Someone's attacking you, they're threatening you. Hey buddy, I don't want any trouble. But you have this here, you have your hands already ready for the strike. For the strike to the eyes, palm strike, vertical strike, hammer fist even. You have all these options. Now, some people might say, you're leaving your, your bottom open for kicks. That might be true, but this is kind of that medium to long range stance. You don't want to be really close when this happens. So if you see someone kick at you, you're just going to move away. Just going to move away. If you need to get closer, you can. You can also, just like in the dragon stance, you can also switch to different stances from here. No problem. But really what I think the most important part to me is, is you can easily block and you can palm strap. And that is the tower stance. 